been forever and a day since I shot a video and I had a request this week from my subscriber Nick to do the highlighter challenge video so that is what today's video shall entail and I am going to apologize in advance for my lack of hair due today. I just kind of threw it up in a bun and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a highlighter challenge video and I don't quite know yet what I'm going to be doing for my makeup in this video, but I can say that I have prepped my skin with my fave Eucerin and I've been using this for years and what I really love about this one it's the intensive repair one and what I love about this one is that it has like exfoliating things in it so it helps to kind of keep your skin turning over and another thing I really like about it is that aside from it being super moisturizing is that it is a really great makeup prep so I don't even have to put on a primer right now because my skin is so moisturized and another great thing is that the moisture from this lotion lasts like all day so you're not like touching your skin going where did my moisturizer go it literally stays there all day and I need to stop saying the word literally because it drives me crazy uh, so I think for let me just make sure you're in focus here I have my trusty mirror my trusty mirror that I put behind the camera to see if I'm in focus, see if things are rolling. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and get started. So I did put the user in on my face. I don't have any makeup on, so I need to get some makeup on. I need some concealer, and I'm gonna use my go-to LA Girl concealer to put under my eyes, and let's see, where is my concealer brush? And I'm just using my Bella Pro concealer brush. This feels so weird doing a video. I have not done one in forever. So, I'm just kind of slapping some of this stuff on. And I kind of just take it over the entire eye. I, can I talk today? Uh, what I like about this shade is that it has some like a little bit of a salmon tone to it, so it helps to really cancel out any sort of like darkness or circles, you know. There's a lawnmower going outside and, oops. And I don't know where you guys are located, but I'm in LA and Today is epically hot, like I'm trying not to sweat in this moment, so I'm going to do a very kind of summery makeup look today. So this challenge, so from what I've seen in other people's videos is that with this challenge you can, it's not just highlighters, like I've seen people using, you know, concealer, things like that to like prep their skin, so that's what I'm using, and then, but the majority of the makeup on my face is going to be highlighters and I'll show you the new highlighting kit that I got for my birthday. I have not used it so this will be my first time using it and I'm so excited to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to try and keep today's makeup like on the summery side. It is so humid out you guys. It is like probably the most humid day we've had in a long time. So humidity on top of 100 degrees is just like, whoa, 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 whoa. So putting makeup on is like, kind of like, defeats the purpose because it's just going to melt. <laughs> you know? Okay, I was up really late singing last night, so I probably look really tired. And that is the blessing of makeup. So I put some concealer on. Now I'm going to, I didn't really bring into my little area here, I didn't really bring any foundation or anything, so let's just build one with highlighters. Uh, I'm going to use for a brush, I'm going to use this 
BH Cosmetics 116 brush. So I have three hard candy highlighters here. I've got the Sheer Glow all the way in the shade in the buff by Hard Candy and the, uh, which one are you? Which one are you? It doesn't want to say. Anyways, it's the pink one. And it says that these highlighters are infused with 24 karat gold. Now, gold does have some really cool skin, skin enhancing properties. So, let's hope that it does my skin some justice here. And then this one is the... Are you not named? What are you? This is... It, there's no name for it that I can see, but it's the gold one, and then like the nudie one, and then the pink one. So is what I'm going to do for my foundation is I'm just going to mix all three of these up onto my hand and see what we can come up with for a foundation look. So I'm just kind of putting them on here. And let's see, to mix it, I'm going to use just a Bare Essentials brush. I'm just kind of mixing them together. So it's very, uh, it's very pink. All right, let's hope this doesn't make me look like a pink tin man. I guess with the excess, I'm just going to paint it on here. How's that looking? Is it looking like a skin tone? <laughs> From what I can see, it doesn't look too terrible. I feel like it, maybe it's from this shade here, it kind of gives my skin like a skin tone look. And then the pink just kind of like, just adds some sheen. I feel like it's giving me a tan. <gasps> oh, this is just hysterical. So I'm making sure to blend everything. It's kind of like it... It's kind of like a pink peachy shade. I'm really digging it. I think it could be cool for like... Like on top of the cheeks, like in a normal makeup look. I really like all three colors mixed together. It's a beautiful shade. How's that look, you guys? Does it look like I have makeup on? Does it look like I have foundation on? Talk to me. All right. So there's that. Now I have some, where is my brush? Where's my brush? So I have this Radiance Cream by Dirty Works, and I'm just gonna put this like under my eye area and along like my cheekbones and just you know, the high points of my face and see how this looks for some brightening effects. This is so fun! Highlighters are my jam! And I'm just using an e.l.f. foundation brush to kind of like just lay it down. How's this looking? And then down the nose a little. Right here. 
I don't ever really put highlighter here on my chin. I feel like in photos it makes it look like like you're just oily or something. I don't know. But I always just put highlighter here. I don't generally take highlighter all the way down my nose. I find that it just looks a little too a little too fake. Making sure that that's all blended in and I have an edge. Okay. All right, and then for my eye primer, I'm using my NYC, ow, primer. So I got this for my birthday. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I've swatched them, I just have not actually used them like on my face, so this is excitement right now, excitement. So I'm going to bronze my face with the shade called Rolling, my camera shut off, so we better make this snappy. Okay, so I'm still bronzing here. so funny because I don't ever really use shimmery bronzers so this is feeling very new to me I'm just gonna take some across my face like that blending it in Now I'm going to add some highlightery blush. I don't know if this is still available. I've had this forever and there's so much in here and it just does not ever seem to like disappear when I use it. It just stays full. Uh, what brush am I going to use for you? Well, I guess I'll just use my Real Techniques again. So this is the Clinique Glow Crazy Loose Powder in Blooming Pink number 01. I don't know if this is still available, but it was really a, it's more of like a, it's a highlighter, but it seems more of like a blush highlighter than all my other highlighters. So that's why I went with this one. So let's put some on here. Oh, I love blush. It's my favorite thing ever. Ever, 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 ever. Now I'm going to add some more Anastasia. Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia. Highlighter. I'm using my Laura Mercier blush brush to apply it with and I'm going to use the tourmaline it's it's like a mauve kind of really beautiful shade I might even put that one in my eye not in my eye but on my eye let's hope but I feel like this shade kind of has the same mauve look to it that the blush does. I feel like I look really tan from all this highlighter. Ah. Okay, and let's just layer some more. I'm gonna use the shade called Summer. Put that right there. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. And down my nose. Hmm. I don't really know the, the look that I'm trying to go for. I don't know if I want to be like summery robotic or robotic summer or fairy summer or fairy robot. I don't know. We'll figure this out. Now 
And then I'm going to take Moonstone and I'm going to pop that all across my eye. I'm using my Wet n Wild brush. I picked up a couple of these. They can I talk? I picked up I picked up a couple of these Wet n Wild brushes because they're just nice to have on backup for just blending in case your blending brushes are dirty. So yeah, I'm really loving these, and it's so soft, and I love that you can like rest your finger on this little what are you dip. Okay, so that's on. And now I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter and it is in the shade Rose Golden Goddess. Ooh. So let's go ahead and put that all over the eye. Ooh, that is pretty. I guess I'm just going to go with like a peachy type theme here. And they say that like bronzes and bronzes and oranges are really good for blue eyes and my eyes are really dark blue. So it really helps to kind of lighten them up. Sometimes my eyes can look green when I wear orange. When I wear orange, bronzy, or like maroon colors. Oh, I'm a robot. I kind of think I should put this on my cheeks. Let's see how this looks. Just kind of tie in the peachy orange. Okay, now I'm going to, hmm, what am I going to do? I might throw some of the Anastasia bronze to shade, maybe just in the crease, because I feel like it's a little bit darker than the Wet n Wild, so it can give my eye some dimension. I normally do this step first, but hey, it's working. just taking it up all the way to the point of my brow the end point not that point so I have my Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just going to use the same bronze shade by Anastasia to put under my eye just to Add a shadow of some sort. Take it up. And just for the fun of it, I'm gonna put some highlighter in my eyebrows. That just sounds like fun. I've never done that before. And we'll see what it does. See? So my camera shut off again. <laughs> and so I'm going to go back to trying to put on my elf confetti eye shimmer in my eyebrow it's very white and it's crumbling on me but it's not really doing much it's kind of letting me down but i like it on my eye lid for a primer but not for the brows so much Oh, there we go. Okay, let's just cake it on. Sorry if you can't see me. I'm trying to 
trying to get as close to my mirror as I can. This is so ridiculous. Well, I don't think it's really doing anything, so we're just not going to do that anymore. Uh, why don't we go ahead and throw this into the inner eye area. Same shade. It's the confetti. It's very, like, moussey gel. Oh god. A cool thing to do if you really want some like glow, 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 glow on your inner eye area is to do this using a, um, is to add like a shimmery eyeshadow base if you can find one that's like light. And like this one's a good one. It's just having trouble blending in a little bit for some reason. Um, and you add that in your inner eye area and then you put your highlighter on top of that and it just really enhances the highlight. Do I look sweaty? Does this all this highlight make me look sweaty? Why aren't you wanting to blend? And I'm just going to take it up my eye area and kind of onto my lid. For a really amazing brightening effect, my one of my favorite things to do is to put a highlighter like right in this area. So not just like in the inner corner, I like to take highlighter up here for a lot of my eye makeup looks that I do because it just really helps to open up your eye and in photos it looks really amazing. But I can't tell if that is really, well that is really sparkly. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now let us throw in I'm just going to use my wet and wild brush again and I'm going to throw in some of the summer shade from the Anastasia palette just on top of what I just did I guess I could use this. I have this um, Laura Mercier highlighting stick in the shade Golden Honey Glow. So I guess I could put this somewhere. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Where's my brush? So why don't we go ahead and just smudge some of this on, maybe on the eye. some liner on and I'm just going to use my Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil in the shade black point. This is really hard to do far away from my mirror so we're just going to do the best we can here. Taking this all the way from inner to outer corners of my eyeball. Then I'm going to take this on top, just on top here. And I'm going to smudge that in. I 
and what's left of the shade I'm just gonna pull up and then I'm gonna take this along the bottom lashes just kind of dot it on there and then I'm just extending the bottom black that I just put up to my upper eye. You guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> How's that looking, y'all? Okay, let's go ahead and put on some lipstick. Actually, let me put on some mascara using my Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes using my Shu Amara. Very dirty eyelash curler. It's heinous. It's completely heinous. It needs to be cleaned so bad. And with this one, it does extend, so I'm going to put it on its shortest extension because I find that that really builds volume in my lashes. And what girl doesn't want volume in her lashes? Give me lashes, dream big. Give me lashes. Give me some lashes. Shut off again. Okay, am I in frame? Yeah, so places like that, and, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a little on the pricey side, but it really did make my eyelashes grow, and so I use it from time to time still just to kind of maintain them, but it literally put, God, I need to stop using that word, it puts, I would say, a good... I, I would say that it's hard to put mascara on and develop a sentence at the same time. I would say that my eyelashes doubled in length. Like, that's how short my eyelashes used to be. That's my eyelash secret. So I'll probably put another coat of this on, and while I'm at it, you know what I did not do is I didn't set my under eye. <gasps> I need to set my under eye so that my lower mascara doesn't run on me. So let's see, I'm gonna use, it's gonna be some serious glow under my eye. I'm gonna use the summer shade in the Anastasia palette. Throw that on, and now I'm going to put on some mascara on my lower lashes. I hope that my camera doesn't run out of, let's not get hair in my mascara. I hope my camera doesn't run out of space for this video. a lot of mascara on my lower lashes. But hey, it says dream big, so we might as well go big. Okay, now I'm going to put on some lips. Some lips. Some lips. So I'm going to use my Stila Long Wear Liquid Lip Color and did the shade peel off the bottom? I think it did. But I can tell you that it was made in Italy and that's all I can really tell you. 
so let's see. It's a very peachy, like metallic-y shade. I didn't line my lips and I didn't put lip balm on either. So now I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strip here and I'm going to use this like peachy pink shade in the middle and I'm just going to pop that like right here. Oh yeah. Let me go here. Actually, I'm just gonna do all over. Is there anything else we can add? Could use. I have a measurable difference highlighter here, and this one is in the shade Glow, and I'm just going to take this kind of all over. Just kind of set everything. <laughs> and now I'm going to mist my face using my Pearl Essence Coconut Water. Oh, it smells so good. And I normally would put bronzer, like, you know, on my neck area to kind of go with the face bronze, but I don't really feel like having a highlighter down my neck. That would just look weird. So this is the final look, you guys. What do you think? Is it completely weird? Thank you, Nick, for requesting this highlighter challenge video. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I can't wait to put up the next video that you also requested. And so I will get to work on that as soon as I can, and tonight I'll be editing this video. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers, and be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be doing another giveaway video, and it has to do with music. So if you like music, then be sure to subscribe. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!